<laughs> Hi there and welcome back to my channel. I'm glad you're here. Uh, at least somebody's here. Uh, I'm testing out a new toy today. I have, uh, it's like a $7 plastic iPhone holder for my tripod. And uh, so I thought I'd give it a try. Uh, so I hooked it up to my little, actually I have a very cool uh, old tripod. Um, I'm looking at it here like you can see it. It's a, an Argus brand tripod and it's it's ancient and it's very cool. But anyway, that's either here nor there. My little device that pinches the iPhone and attaches to the tripod is very cool. And it was really cheap and it was hung, uh, made in Chongping Yanghong, China somewhere. I'm not making fun. I'm just um, <laughs> making fun. Um, so welcome to the Dr. Kayak channel. And uh, not only am I testing out my little new device, my cheap little um, device, foreign made cheap device <laughs> that I like. Um, I wrote a little rant today about peopling. Peopling. I don't people well. And this is unknown for um, several of my very close friends. I can become uh, quite animated um, and I get angry when I'm recalling a situation with somebody or somewhere or something like that. Uh, so to, to uh, get to the point here, which I'm not good at doing, I'm not good at getting to the point. Um, the people that I've been working for for the last 10 years managing their uh, vacation rental property uh, has come to an end. They're literally moving today from the other side of the country to northern Michigan. Um, not really the other side of the country. The other side of my world. Sorry, I bumped the camera and made the t thing wiggle. <laughs> Sorry. So... In the process of them moving, they had a bunch of old furniture uh, in, in the rental property. I got other, another thing to tell you about, too. Um, that they want it gone so they can bring their stuff and put it in there after 10 years. So, I mean, I had a bunk bed and a queen bed and a, a sofa bed and a love seat and nightstands and dressers and all kinds of fun stuff like that. And trying to give them away, literally... For pennies on the dollar on Facebook Marketplace is like trying to negotiate a minefield blindfolded people. I'm my God. Do you deliver? No, I don't deliver. Will you take Venmo? No, it says cash. You know, people, come on. Don't be so dumb. Don't, don't read the descriptions. And, and, you know, if you're just kicking tires, leave me alone. If you're actually seriously interested, contact me. So I've been dealing with, and this is normal for Marketplace. I know y'all get that, but <laughs> it doesn't have to be. Stop it, people. Just stop it. Stop doing that. God. So anyway, <sighs> I get a text at 1237 after midnight, last night, and she says, is it still available? Well, I didn't get the message till about four o'clock in the morning, so I replied, sounds like the right thing to do. Uh, yes, it is. And then, I, and then an, an hour later, well, five o'clock in the morning, I said, are you still interested? <laughs> Just kind of a payback thing. And then... She finally replies this morning and wonders if I'll deliver it, wonders if uh, she can pay for it on Facebook, wonders if I'll wait for her uncle's father's brother-in-law to maybe come and pick it up because she can't because she's working. <sighs> It's, it, it, stop. People, just stop. If you want to buy something on Marketplace, be prepared to go get it, pay for it, 
unless they tell you they're gonna send it to you. I made all of that clear in my description. It's peopling and I don't do it well. And I've done peopling all my life, all my life. <clears throat> I started off when I was a kid with a paper route. And I had, it was simple. At four in the morning, you put the newspaper in their door because that's what I did. I didn't throw it on their porch or on their lawn. I put it in between their doors. And once a week, because it was a daily paper, I would put an envelope in there for them to just pay for the paper. That's all they had to do. Put their little money in their little envelope, leave it in the door for me, and pick it up in the morning when I delivered the paper. Maybe a, a quarter of the people couldn't do that. And this is when, early on in my life, I decided, I learned that I don't people well. And what I decided to do is just not deliver their paper anymore. And then they would com complain to my paper route manager. And the paper route manager would say, hey, how come Joe Blow's not getting his paper? I said, well, they, they're supposed to pay for it. And uh, if they're not going to pay for it, I'm not going to deliver it. Well, go ahead and give it. A no, no, that's not how it works. See, when you have a paper route, back when I was a kid, you were the businessman. You bought the paper in bulk wholesale and you resold it. You're the boss. You're the manager. You're buying the product. You're selling the product that you bought to people. I don't have to answer to anybody and I wouldn't. So the remedy was for those people who owed me money to send me the money if they wanted to get the paper. You can, look, I'm not going to keep coming to your house. All right, so that was my first kind of real experience peopling. And then from there, I, I got jobs in retail. I worked in a beer store and stocking shelves. I worked in a Kentucky Fried Chicken making that delicious chicken. And oh, let's see, I've, I worked in a, a drug store, uh, cleaning floors, stocking shelves. I And then I discovered, hey, uh, I could be a mobile disc jockey. Yeah, and I got gigs working in bars, and it was a party atmosphere. Now, remember, uh, when you were a kid in high school, you thought, well, I'm going to, after high school, I'm going to go to college and, and get a profession and be a lawyer, doctor, pharmacist, uh, whatever, veterinarian, mechanic, whatever. I hated school, and, and at on graduation day, I didn't look back. There was no consideration for me to go back to college to, to, to further my education. It just wasn't going to happen. And uh, it was my idea that after high school, I'm going to retire. Now, I tried. I tried. I went out and got those retail jobs. I fell in love. I tried to uh, do what my parents did. And uh, the people... The problem was I had to involve people in my life, like the girl that I fell in love with who decided that a disc jockey wasn't the kind of guy she wanted to be with after four years of being together. And so, you know, kicked in the teeth and then kicked in the teeth again. And then I got married, got kicked in the teeth again. Then I got married again, got kicked in the teeth. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, this is me, my YouTube video, and I'm peopling. I'm literally pe peopling right now with you. You're people, and I'm talking to you. And <sighs> So, after uh, many years of being a disc jockey in bars, I, I took on... Uh, private gigs, doing weddings, bridezillas. Oh yeah, you're out there, ladies. You're out there. You're out there. <laughs> and the the guys, the guys. Oh, Carol's gonna go get married. And I'm gonna say I do, and I'm gonna go party at the reception afterwards. We're gonna get drunk on all. This is the mentality of the people that I dealt with all my life. I'm done peopling. I don't want to people anymore. I just, I, I want to, I, I want people to be nice to me. I want to be nice to people. I don't want to join any clubs. I don't want to be a Republican or a Democrat or an independent. I don't want to be a Catholic. I don't want to be uh, any religion, any clan. I don't want to join your clubs. I just want to tread lightly. Uh, leave things better than the way I found it and enjoy life. That's all I want to do. So 
that thing I wanted to tell you about earlier. Uh, the last time I went to get my hair cut in my little town, uh, we have like three different places. There's, I don't know, uh, Joe's haircut place, and then there's the uh, Smart Cuts place, and then the Head Job place, or whatever it's called. And um, every one of them have a sign on the, on the window, on the door, in front of the building. Walk-ins welcome. You walk in there, you walk in there. Number one, well, there's going to be 45 minute wait. <laughs> I just want a haircut. That's all I want. I want my the hair that's on my head cut off. That's all I want. Don't need a style. Don't need color. Don't need curls. Don't need nothing. Just cut my hair. It, it'll take you 10 minutes. Why do I got to... Because I have to, because I have to, because I'm peopling again. I'm out there in the public and I'm peopling again. And I'm a public person. The other thing they do, you step up to the counter and you say, I'd like to get my hair cut. And they say, what's your phone number? Uh, I just want a haircut. Yeah, but we're going to log you into my... No, you're not going to log me in. I want a haircut. I don't want to join your haircut mafia. <laughs> <laughs> so I decided no more. I'm not going to go get haircuts anymore. I'm not going to pay for haircuts. So I bought a really nice little, you hope, you know what? I'm, I'm going to clear a path. I'm going to go get my haircut thing. My, 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 uh, clipper. Hold on. Are you ready? See how long it takes. Count, count real slow. Go. was 45 seconds. No, I, I can see it on the screen. So I've got, because I like to party like a rock star, I've got my little Crown Royal bag. And I put my hair... So this is what it looks like. Pretty, pretty basic. It's rechargeable. A little rechargeable port there. And then you... Okay, so while you're trimming, this thing gets kind of clogged up a little bit with hair and it'll not trim and you got to blow it out, shake it, pull the little thing off, do that and put it back on, right? So I was, I was in the bathroom. Do, eh, like that. Oh, oh, there's hair in there. like an idiot, I sat it down. And then I went, and then I went. And then what I had was an inverted mohawk. I didn't mean to, to do this. I know, breathtaking, isn't it? Oh my God. <laughs> so I had a senior moment. Come to find out I'm one of those people. I'm one of those dumb people. So, I wish I wasn't. I wish I was special. I wish I was perfect. But if you buy into your little uh, clans and mafias, and there was only one guy who was perfect, and... You know what they did to him, right? Nailed him to a cross. So so today, in closing with my little 15-minute video, I just want to say uh, I'm still Dr. Kayak. I'm still planning the nomad thing. I'm still trying to sell my house. Uh, for the last month, I've had people, every Saturday, Sunday, I'll do a, an open house and people will come in and they'll look around and they say, oh, this is nice. Well, how did you find out? Well, I saw your sign. Oh, why are you here? I just wanted to come and look. Look, don't waste my time. If you want to buy a house, come look. If you don't, don't, just stay away from me. And then and then they say, well, how much are you asking? And then you tell them and they say, will you take anything lower? How much will, how low will you go?
Ugh. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. My 15 minutes of fame is up. And I just want to say thank you for stopping by and listening to me vent. And uh, please subscribe if you haven't. I promise there'll be some good stuff coming up in the future. Now that I've got this new high-tech device to hold my camera. And um, I'm going to be moving. There's stuff's going to happen here soon, I hope, maybe. We'll talk to you later. Did you see that light? I was like, I think a ghost just came out of me. All right, I'm done. Like, subscribe, comment, uh, leave a message, call me, uh, have your people call my people. We'll all get naked and lay in a pile.